When it comes to Ryzen dedicated servers, Hetzner has one of the best offers. Today I will compare AX41 to AX102 to see how much improvement there is. On the paper, it's not even close. AX102 has way better cores because it's two generations newer, and on top of that, it has more of these faster cores. There is two times more RAM, four times as much storage, which is also faster as it's based on PCI Express Gen 4. So now, take a guess. How much faster AX102 will be? Twice? Triple? Quadruple? Let's see the benchmarks. First, Nginx. You may think there is some glitch, but no. Because all tests I'm doing a repeated test with less than 2% result deviation. So maybe let's see some other source. Open benchmarking. A Ryzen 7 6950 X3D is faster than 64 core AMD Epic Milan. This Ryzen performs so great because it combines very fast cores, high frequency, with a lot of CPU cache right beside these cores. So a lot of work can be done with minimal latency between requests that Nginx receives and performs skyrockets. But of course, that is just static file benchmark, so let's see how well databases perform. First, Redis. In memory database, that will be a great fit to maximize throughput of web server. Difference is not that huge as with Nginx, but it's still big improvement compared to AX31. What about traditional SQL databases? MariaDB, fork of MySQL. We see the same performance difference as with Redis. But maybe you want to host WordPress or some other PHP application. With PHP Bench, difference is not that huge, and we clearly see that additional cores don't help with this benchmark. PHP is limited by single core performance, but in the real world you will see improvement. If you use PHP FPM, then you will have multiple workers, and each of these workers can use different core. If you have database on same server, it can also use different core. Nginx can also use different core. But remember that PHP is always the bottleneck. If you have WordPress with fast CGI caching and Redis, then most requests will be limited by Nginx performance, not PHP or MariaDB. ZSTD compression and decompression speed. ZSTD is used by a lot of database engines, some file systems, and you should also use it for backups as it's very efficient. There is a difference in the compression speed, but even this worse result from X41 is high enough. However, you will notice difference in compression speed. Compression is always slower than decompression, and you will notice the improvement that Ryzen 7 7950X3D can provide. Compilation time of Apache HTTP server. If you have a big application that you want to compile, and it takes a long time, maybe even hours, to compile, then you will see performance difference, but for smaller applications that are not that complex, I think AX41 is already beyond the level of good enough. WebP encoding speed. CWebP library doesn't make use of many cores, but we still see some improvement and this is a benchmark that I was interested in. Because nowadays some browsers support WebP, some browsers support AVIF, and if you want to self-host image optimization service or use any CMS that has it, for example DirectUS, you will notice that images are delivered way faster. Right now I'm building application with DirectUS and WebP encodes were too slow on VPS. And now I know it's totally worth it to pay more for the dedicated server and in my case cut the encoding speed by 4 times. Now let's take a look at purely synthetic benchmarks. First, storage performance. In AX41 we have NVMe drives using PCI Express Gen 3. In AX102 we have NVMe drives that use PCI Express Gen 4. This is what causes this difference, but I need to add that I've never had any IO bottleneck with AX41, because it's still very, very fast. And now Geekbench 6, most popular benchmark that allows you to compare servers, desktops, and even smartphones 
Jones. In single core benchmark, we can see 64% better score. Big difference. But in multi-core, it's twice as fast. And to be honest, that's kinda disappointing. We should see a lot bigger difference because we are comparing 6 slower cars to 16 faster cars. And there is some speculation that I heard from competitors that Hetzner modifies the BIOS settings and limits CPU power draw to save energy and that limits the multi-core performance. I'm not confirming anything, but when I saw this result, I knew that we need to do in-depth look into this. And that's a topic for another video, so subscribe to not miss out. That's all for today. Have a nice day.